Hello once again everyone. I am apparently roasting to death here and uh, yep, there I go. There I go. Okay. Uh, well, this is Mortis and I just failed right off the bat. That's actually a pretty impressive record right there. Within the first 10 seconds, I died. Uh, but uh, we're currently being roasted like a uh, marshmallow. Stay with marshmallow metal. And we need to get out of here before I suffocate. Uh, so let's see here. Which way would I go? Yes. Oh, it's on rails. Okay. Perfect. If I wasn't immolated, I was going to get crushed to death. So I'll just hold forward. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. I am definitely not getting a bonus this year. Shit. If I survive this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. <laughs> Oh! The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. Disarm! Oh! Headbutt. Suck on that. Oh great, so I'm gonna get uh, set ablaze and I have to shoot people I was too. in no state <laughs> to save his body from the flames. I hadn't saved him from the gunman either. I'm sorry, kid. Oh my uh... Oops. <laughs> fail glorious fail. Headbutt shoot him. Do I have to do this again? No, oh, I don't. No, oh, I don't. I can just skip. Press enter, space. No, maybe not. Can't skip. Let's bask in the glory of his body. That's perfect. Come on around. Ooh, right in the eye, bastard. Why do I have to keep doing this? I'm so confused. Ugh. I probably shouldn't have wasted that many bullets, but... I'll get more bullets from them. Don't die here. Move. But my arm smells so nice. Oh, son of a bitch. That didn't kill me. Did I will be very disappointed. Oh, no, I'm Rodrigo good. Rodrigo or not, Fabricast Bronco is falling apart quite literally. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I get to press the button? Press the button. Damn it. Alright, fine. I'll just push the door open. Where was he? Oh, there you are. Uh, despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. Oh, come on. Why don't I have any bullet time? I'd really enjoy some bullet time. Maybe I wouldn't suck as much. <laughs> oh, come. Oh, right in the eye again. Jeez. I don't need LASIK. Thank you. What? I can't even look around a corner. I'm going to die. All right, fine. I refuse to be beaten. Who's your brother? Who's your out? Yeah. 
And that's how you do it, folks. The last bunch of guys who tried to kill me might have had an idea. But I'm not going that way. Where am I going? Out the window? Guess not. Okay. So, where do I go? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am alive. Oh, son of a... Jeez. That's why we can't end nice things. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. <laughs> and you just jinxed yourself, because now people are going to be shooting right at you all over again. I'm having just a terrific day. <laughs> Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, oh I might get some answers. <laughs> you seem to be uh, missing your leg there, champ. You seem to be trying to escape. Would you like some help with that? Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Uh, uh. Where's Fabiana? What? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had oh, to try to ow. figure out who was uh, using these angry eat. paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. And right back to drinking. My favorite that pastime. Was a mess. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. Team I decided Jackman, that I was going to die sober, not drunk. Ah! At least then I would see who shot me. <laughs> I'm glad you decided that after drinking half the bottle. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Didn't I see this on uh, The Walking Dead? Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all. 
what it was going to have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. Hello. Hello, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. Man, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I work my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. I can do that in my pretty new shirt. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. Oh yeah, Bob that head now. Bob that head. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas. But then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? He lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos estates. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aha, falo sim, sem problema. Need to know if you ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second. Look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? It's a drop. Wait a minute. Down there? <laughs> Isso. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this way, come on. Trust me, I am a little boy. I would never do for fun. At least I found myself a tour guide. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I care to admit. Vai, 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 vai,
I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Continua andando, caralho! Que porra é essa que você tá fazendo aqui? Como que você sai entrando aqui assim? Anda, anda, vai pra lá! O que você guys? O que você tá fazendo aqui? Eu tô te perguntando! Eu te chamei aqui, porra! Easy, pal, easy! Ah, então, você é americano de merda. Ah, look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão pra eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Ah, ah. Desculpa, amigo, por favor. Passa ah. tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele, pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, é lojão, hein? Passa aqui. Dá logo. Dá logo. Da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. Ah. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. Alright, well, I think this will be a good place to uh, end it, so thank you for watching once again. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Haha, <laughs> we'll end on a quip.